trouble But we don't really care Tell ourselves Hi guys and welcome back to Mother Bear Blog channel If you are new here, I'm Zara and I'm 22 Mummy to two girls, Ruby and Lucy And today's video is our Aldi weekly food shop Today we spent £53 And if you follow me on Instagram You know that my mode of transport is a double buggy let me just show you how I got this home. I don't wanna do this anymore. No, I just wanna say hello and do whatever I like. So that was the pram all loaded up with our weekly food shop. So let's just crack on and show you what I got today. Whether you wanna get some like meal ideas or just have a nosy to see what we buy. Enjoy! So to start off with. I got some petty pots. I got some salmon fish cakes. These are such an easy dinner to like wang, wang with anything that we want dinner this week. And then just rip the packaging off that hun, as you do. Then I thought we'd try some chicken with cheese and leek gratin. So that'll be another dinner that I just banged together, pop it in the oven with some veg. It's just something slightly different. I got Tom some cocktail sausages, cause boy, that, that man loves the sausage. Then I got some beef mince, the 5% fat one. That'll be for either a spag bowl or a chili con carne this week. And then I got four chicken breasts. This I'll separate in two, which does two dinners. I'm thinking maybe, ooh, they slid down. Maybe if they're heated dinner one night and maybe like a mini roast for another. And then I got some sausages because Tom likes the fake sausages and that will be another dinner so and wipes and wipes let's go on to the next stuff then I got some milk which we will have to buy a lot more during the week but in a pram I only bring one home and some cheese because we love the cheese then veg wise I got some little chantilly chantilly how do you say it please leave it below but I say it the little carrots because the girls like to pretend they're feet to rabbit and they eat more. Then I've got some parsnips and some pe peppers for if I do like a bit heated chicken. And then the other veg I'll just dish up mishmash with dinners. And we've got peas too. Also got the girls some chew bits which are kind of like fruits and they love these and it means less washing up, less spoons to wash. And Tom some pork pies. He likes these small mini ones. Next up is fruit. The girls will get through all of this with me in about two, three days. We love our fruit. So I've got some mini apples, some blueberries, some mixed grapes. They think these are sweeties, it's brilliant. Then some bananas. We get some raspberries and some strawberries. And that's our fruit. Next up, salad bits. We've got some celery. But usually I eat with hummus, not gonna lie, I forgot hummus. So I either will make my own hummus from home or get Tom to nip to the shop and get some hummus. I got some iceberg lettuce, I got some cucumber, so the girls will have that as like sticks, and I got some tomatoes, tomatoes, tomato, tomato. Mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh -uh. Then these are some bits that I think are really quick and easy to whiz together with I'm whizzing a lot. Um with my meats for dinners so we've got some microwavable whole grain rice i don't know about you guys but two minutes compared to 20 making rice i pick that any day some mushroom and garlic risotto this you literally add hot water to and leave it bubbling and the girls love it they call it sticky rice and some quinoa my girls actually really love quinoa and they'll have this instead of like rice for maybe a dinner or maybe have this with the fajita chicken so quinoa. So for breakfast, we've got some porridge oats. This is what I'll make the girls fruity porridge. I'll mix some fruit in it and cook it on the hob and they love that. Or for a treat, they've got some brioche. They absolutely love this. And this is my change bag essential to keep them quiet and happy and fill them up for a little bit if I'm caught off guard. Next up, we've got crispy kind of things. They've got these, which Tom actually loves. And these always remind me of like holiday, like holiday crisps. These are ready salted tiny potato sticks. They look like little chips. They've got the Tyrrell's popcorn. This is a pound at the moment. And this is our food shopping treat. So we always buy it the day we food shop. 
and we have it as a snack when we get home. So it's already been opened. Anyone else have a food shopping treat? And then we've got the flavoured pea snacks. This is our favourite as well. They're like that. And you know, I don't know why, but the kids just love them. So they're the crisps. We have kitty beets. I've got the little pink oat bars. These are strawberry and apple. And the smoothies, which are banana ones for the girls, for their snacks along with a pack of nappies, just size five. We don't actually have to buy as many now. Ruby's successfully potty trained. Give me a holler. And another pack of wipes. For household randomly bits, we got some washing up liquid and some bin bags. Then we've got, ooh, then we've got some ketchup. That could have ended disastrously. Some Passat eggs. I like to make my sauces from scratch and that's a key ingredient. And some crunchy 100% peanut peanut butter because I'm a crunchy kind of girl. No, I'm a smooth criminal, but crunchy is where the heart's at. Hans, let's not forget about the eggs now. Boo. So I've got six eggs which we'll easily get through in a few days. And this was a special treat for Tom because he loves these. They're just like proper hot doggy hot dogs. He will literally eat them cold. Don't know how I feel about that. And that was our weekly food shop. That came up to £53.42, which I don't think is bad at all. I hope you like what you saw today. And if you did, please subscribe. Come join the Mother Bear blog family. We would love to have you stick around and let me know roughly on average how big your family is and how much you spend. Like, I never know whether we spend an extortionate amount for four of us or whether, you know, we're in the flow. <laughs> Whether you watch this to be nosy or to get some meal inspiration, I hope you enjoyed. Love you all and see you all soon.